Hello and welcome to another video on sequences and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the term nth term. And in the previous video we looked at arithmetic sequences and we looked at trying to find a rule that connected the position of the term to that term number. So in this video we're just going to extend that concept and use something called the nth term. So let's have a look at this sequence here and if we look at the difference between each term it looks like it's going up by three each time. We're adding on three every time. So this sequence is similar to a three times table because it's going up by three each time, but it's just been shifted slightly. So if we write down our three times table, we can see that it's been shifted by two each time. We're just adding on two each time. So we can say that the rule that connects the position number with our sequence is we multiply our position by three because we're using our three times table and then we add two. Now we're just going to rewrite this statement but instead of using words we're going to use algebra and we're going to call that the nth term. So the first thing we need to do is multiply the position by three. So we're going to do three times the position. Now with sequences we generally refer to the position using the letter n. So we can write three times n or just simply three n. That's three times the position. That's what we do here. That's the first step. And then we just add two. So it's going to be 3n plus 2. And this is our nth term of our sequence. So it's exactly the same as this. We've just replaced this statement with an expression. OK, so this time it's your turn. What I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a go at trying to work out the nth term of this sequence here. OK, so the first thing to do is let's just look at the difference between each term. So it looks like we're adding 4 each time. So we're going to use our four times table. So if we write down our four times table, and now we can see what adjustment we need to make. So to go from four to nine, we add on five. Is that the same with eight to 13? Well, yes, it is. Eight plus five gives us 13. So we can say that our nth term, because we're using our four times table, we're multiplying the position by four. So that's four n. And then the adjustment we're making is adding on five. So our nth term is four n plus five. OK, so let's do another one. So this time, this is our sequence, and I'd like to find the nth term. OK, so between 3 and 8, it looks like we're adding on 5. And again, between 8 and 13, we're adding on 5. And it looks like that's the case for all of these. So we're going to be using our 5 times table. So let's write that down. Now, what adjustment are we making? Well, to go from 5 to 3, this time we're subtracting. And it looks like we're subtracting 2. And again, from 10 to 8, we're subtracting 2. And for all of these, we're subtracting 2. So our nth term, because we're using our five times table, is going to be five n, five times our position, and then we're subtracting two. So it's five n minus two, and this is our nth term. Okay, this is fun, so let's have another go. Have a go at doing this one. Okay, so to go from negative nine to negative eight, what are we doing? Well, we're adding on one. So we're just adding on one each time. So all we're going to be doing is our one times table, which is quite easy to do. So this time, what adjustment are we making to go from 1 to negative 9? Well, we're subtracting 10. To go from 1 to negative 9, we're subtracting 10. To go from 2 to negative 8, we're subtracting 10. And again, this is the same for all three of these. So because we're using our 1 times table, it's just going to be 1n, or we could just say n. And the adjustment we're making is we're subtracting 10. So it's going to be n minus 10. Now you don't need to work out the adjustment for each set of terms. You only need to work out the adjustment for the first term because these are always going to be the same because it's an arithmetic sequence. I've just done this just to show you, but you only really need to work out the first adjustment and that is what's going to form the second part of our nth term. Okay, so let's just do one more to finish off. So pause the video. So to go from three to negative one, we're going to be subtracting four. So let's do our negative four times table. Now, what adjustment are we making to go from negative four to positive three? Well, we are adding seven. So I don't even need to work out the adjustments for all of these. As long as I've got the first one, now I can write down my nth term. So because we're using our negative four times table, it's gonna be negative four n. And because the adjustment is plus seven, it's just gonna be negative four n plus seven. So hopefully you enjoyed that video and hopefully I gave you enough examples to give you a good foundation and an understanding of how to calculate the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to use our nth term and apply it to answer different types of questions on arithmetic sequences. I'll see you soon.